Welcome to Outdoors for Adventure. In today's video, we're going to talk about an SUV inflatable air mattress and a tailgate tent with awning from Hay Trip. This is the SUV inflatable air mattress that we'll be installing in the back of the Jeep Grand Cherokee. This is a little bit different than the last SUV mattress I used. Take a look at all the sides of the box here. This one has two separate chambers, adjustable firmness, durable and PVC free fabric, inflates and deflates easily, fits most SUVs pet friendly, and a storage function. Looks like it comes with the SUV air mattress, the pump, patches, and a storage bag. Now let's jump over to the tailgate, the tailgate tent with awning. Has four straps, two stakes, the tent, and a carry bag, and I do not see any kind of poles for the awning. instructions on the back of the box they just stake their awning to the ground all right well let's open up the air mattress and see what we have This is a look. Okay, this is a look inside the box. This will be the air pump wrapped in bubble wrap. Looks like your patches might be in there too. And then you have your air mattress. Yep. Still have, there's the patches inside the box. Some glue. And then this would be your carry bag. All right, let's go ahead and take the patches, put them in this nice carry bag so we don't leave them. Take the air pump out of the bubble wrap. Your pump, 12 volt, attachments, and instructions. I'll put the instructions in here, but we're not going to need this bubble wrap. That come with the mattress for set up and clean. Go ahead and set the nice carry bag over there. And let's throw this out. This way. Now, the first thing I noticed is the material. The second thing I notice is it looks like the air valve is on this end, so the wide part is going to go up on the seat. So I've actually got this turned around backwards because I thought I was going to stand here and air it up. 
but we're gonna go ahead and turn it around so we can can air it up with the right end up there. Not sure which one. This is deflate. It says on the bottom deflate. And this will be inflate. So the first thing I'm gonna do is turn this around. But I want to show you all the valve. So here's one of the valves. Now notice this is in, there's a second valve. So notice this is split into two sections. You can air up this side separately from this side. So if you only need half the mattress, you wouldn't have to air this side up. And I always have a refrigerator over here. So if it's just me, I could leave my set power fridge in here and just fold this underneath and just sleep on half of it. But let's flip it around, air it up, and see what it looks like. Because I'm, I'm also noticing that there's some valves right here. And I just, that just broke off. So, I have to keep up with that now. Not good on that part. Let's see what this one, look, this one's already broke. See, already broke. So keep up with those. So let's go ahead and flip this around. Now, I could take my cargo mat out and leave it down here so I'm not getting, tracking dirt and stuff up in here. But for this display, I'm not going to do that. I'm not sure what's top and bottom. If I flip it over, let's say my fridge will sit on this side, so I want the bigger side on over here. And I believe that's this side here. Now, as you can see, it's in there the right way, but the air valves are up on the front side. So let's see if the air pump has enough cordage to reach from this 12 volt plug, which I have another plug in the center console that I might use. Get this tie undone. Okay. I don't think it's going to be long enough to reach. So I'm going to have to use the one in the center console. Actually, I'm going to use my battery pack. I have a power station behind my seat. All right, this is plugged into that. Now we're just gonna, I wanna air up this side first. So we're gonna stick this in there.
tap back on and that side's aired up <clears throat> and like I said if you have your fridge set here you, you wouldn't have to air this side here up you could just tuck it under sleep on this side keep your fridge in there and you're good to go all right let's unfold this half and air it up remember to screw the first valve in first Notice there's a handle right here. Now if you got a little too much air in it, you can pull this little side valve off and just push the button. As you can see the mattress is full fully aired up on both sides. Now the reason I have the big side on this side is because I normally put the fridge on this side. But as you can see, those are joined together in the middle right there. So I'm thinking if I flip that over, and let me flip it over and show it to you. Now I would say this is actually the top. As you can see, this is material is on the top of this and you could just flip this up and keep it on one side throw your fridge back up in there your bags back up in there and you wouldn't have to let the air out of the bed if you didn't want to also notice hay trip is the right way so although the material is the same this is a soft touch material all the way around So, there it is. These are the valves I was talking about. If you got a little bit too much air in there, you can just let a little bit out. And then, these are your handles here, one on each side. And then again, your, your big valves, you screw that, this one in, keep this cap off to fill, and if you want to empty it real fast, you're going to take this whole thing out. And you can put the pump in there to suck the air out, make it completely flat. But that is the Hay Trip air mattress for the SUV camping. I like the fact that I can just use half of it and keep stuff on this side. So what do y'all think? 
Pretty cool idea, huh? To camp in your vehicle. See the tailgate is closed and it fits in here with the tailgate closed and I haven't even pushed my seats forward yet from the where we uh, normally have them set. I need a little more room I could close my seats up a little closer to the dash <laughs> so as you see I did fit up in there Got a little bit dirt in there too, but when you're out in the woods camping, you can expect to carry a little dirt around with you. So, let's shut this gate. All we're lacking is some type of tent where we can work out of the back of this. So let's grab the Hay Trip SUV tent and see how it mounts up there. Got a nice carry bag, waterproof material. Tie down the stakes. Luckily, I've done a few of these before.
All right, now like I said, the awning for this tent did not come with any kind of stakes. And to get it up, all it came with was two hooks to hold it to the ground. And then you can get underneath it up in here to undo the net the mosquito net to climb in and out so you're going to get airflow plus you're going to get privacy with it done like this now i have some awning poles that i can use to actually stake this up and make it a uh, area you can get under to cook and stuff like that and it just has an elastic that grips the vehicle and I just tied it to my roof rack and I will shorten those ropes so it's easier to uh, hook it up I don't need all that cordage and then you have a strap that goes to your tire to hold that it's got a pretty good seal all the way around you don't have to worry about water because it'll run down the lip and not get in the vehicle but i can get underneath here and get in and out i need to tie it tighter you can see daylight in that corner so if i pull that up tighter closer to the rack that might solve that situation. You know, on this side, strapped to the tire, tied to the rack, and it is a protected area. So, this is the Hay Trip SUV tent with the awning rolled up access to the mosquito fly you can also unzip and roll up the mosquito fly if you so choose to keep it out of the way pretty much a way to get some airflow to suv camp and stay bug free To take it down, we'll just untie the top. We'll take the clamp off of the rim. We'll roll this back down and zip it up and then fold it up and put it in the bag. Now I do have my hitch in with it hooked up, but you could take that out to keep from busting your shin on it and uh, not worry about running into it so you could take that out if you wanted to not leave leave it in but if you want to leave it in it still works So you can completely zip it up if you're wanting to stay dry. You 
could get in from your side doors or you can zip it up from the back back there but you have extra room you could store some stuff on each side of the mattress That's the hay trip SUV tent. Put up. Now let's let the air out of the mattress. We're going to undo these big vents. After undoing the big vents, we're going to swap our end. We're going to use the, the big one. Stick it in there. Got to turn my power station on. Now we're going to 
do. This side. Put the valves back in, close them up. Bag. And it's closed up a little bit different. I didn't measure the bag to see how. Yeah, it's not the right. I need it skinnier. So, what we're going to do. Let's go ahead and bring this over all the way. I could have avoided this if I would have used that air pump and sucked this little more air out.
<clears throat> Everything is in there. Ready for the next trip. As you can see, this doesn't take up a lot of space. So you can leave your Jeep all the time. Whenever you're ready to camp, it's there. <laughs>